Well, good morning. I'm out here in um, rural Western Australia. First thing in the morning. Sun's just coming up above the clouds there. Starting to warm up a little bit, which is nice. Um, take the bite off the cool of the morning. I got um, brownies working, hunting, fishing rig here with me today. And I'm going to try to do this in one cut. I just want to walk around with you guys. Uh, show you all the bits and pieces of a proper proper work ute. No frills, all practical, honest, the big GU. Alright, well first thing I'm going to do is turn the headlights off because I turned them on <laughs> to um, take the thumbnail photo. We'll start at the front, shall we? So I'm not sure what year this is. But it's a GU Patrol Ute, call sprung. Uh, it's just got the big 4.2 turbo diesel. Um, and she's seen some action. Obviously got a bar. Got some spotties. Looks like it's a winch capable bar. Um, without a winch. Got the classic Nissan peeling paint of the era. You see this a lot, especially on the Navaras too. And there's another one rolling around the same town that we're in um, that's got the same problem with their bonnet. So just a bit thin. Just a bit thin it was. Maybe the apprentice was painting that day. I'm not sure. Got the aerials for the UHF. We'll go this way, shall we? She's got some nice all-terrains on her. What are they? Maxis 771 Bravos. And they are a 285-75-16. She's got locking hubs. I believe she has a two inch lift. She's been in a while though. Those look like upgraded springs and shocks. Sorry guys, they've been on so long I cannot see the label on them. Like the steering damp has been replaced at some point in time. Oh, a little bit of rust on the bottom of the bar there. <laughs> Actually, that's just um, a bit of underbody protection, not the bar itself. <clears throat> Got some dents and dings, this old girl. You know what? I'll save that for a sec. We'll have a look at the outside here. So the bloke that owns this truck, this ute, has built this frame himself. Professional roof shooter, among other things. Got the work lights for the night time. And we got the winch. So, I'll see if I can give you a quick demonstration of how this would work. So you've shot a roo, it's on the ground. This might seem sort of very obvious to some of you, but it wasn't obvious to me when I first saw him do it. Oop, focus, focus. There we are. So out. comes down, you hook your roo, if it's a boomer, usually by the nads, you bring it up again, you get it high enough, you put another hook in it, another hook in it, and then the hook that will be on the boomer now, will just go on here, and you just slide along, um, so you fill up these these runs, and then there's obviously runs on the other side there as well, if you have a really good night, if you get, say, I don't know, probably 10 a side or something like that. So yeah, if you have a really good night, use the other side, but oh, let me just put it back where she was. Not quite, quite the amateur. You 
You're going down for a sec, guys. Yeah. Better fall back where she was. Yes, yeah, so at the end of the night, depending where you are, of course, you gut the roos, you dress them, take the head off, take the limbs off, and then you stack them all in there so it's a bit more contained for the drive home. Spares mounted up here by the cab. There's your sandbag for your shooting. And we've got the, the spotlight on the top as well. Which is controlled by that handle there. So, yeah. Here she's the old girl. That's the five speed manual for you. Oh, jeez. Where's my focus, guys? Doesn't like being in the low light. Five speed manual, high and low. Spent casing. <laughs> uh, UHF. The good thing about the GU, my favorite thing, is the three seats. So, if you've got a little one, or a couple of little ones, you can pop them in the front with you. Oh, of course, if they. It's legal to put them in the front without a car seat or whatever. That's where you put them. Or if you've got two girlfriends, <laughs> they can go there as well. She generally starts first pop, this girl. Yeah, first click, just like that. Just like that. Oh. Also AM radio. It's always AM radio in this thing. It just kind of sets the scene. Ah, oh, bloody beautiful day. Amen. Got 536,000 kilometers on her. Original engine, original transmission. Fuel batteries. Two thousand five, according to the uh, bin plate there. Sorry, I misspoke. Five hundred and twenty-seven thousand kilometres on her. Oh, yeah. The Ute. And there's me wire. My job for today. I've got to cut all this up into little sections and then see this barb there got to tie those on the fence posts so better stop mucking around and get to work thanks for joining me um hopefully i've done that in one cut without my too many ums and ahs and hopefully i'm i'm in focus uh see you next week guys